Hello everyone, Bright Blessings, it's Tess Whitehurst, and it's Monday, so I am here with a reading for you from my Magic of Flowers Oracle for this week, the week of April 4th, 2022. So for today and tomorrow and the first part of Wednesday, for everyone watching, that's I set the intention for this to resonate with everyone who happens to see this, the first card that we get for this week is Honeysuckle, which is good luck. So this is, I've been tuning into this unsticking, this opening, kind of door opening, portal opening energy. So just kind of tuning into expecting wonderful things to happen and like seeing if you can open up to the joy and the magic of being alive, looking for the little things that bring you joy and then expecting wonderful luck to fall into your life. So then for the second half of the week, second half of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we got geranium, which is be resilient. So for us for this week, the message that I'm getting for this one is that it's about tuning into and giving ourselves uh, recognition for the ways that we have been resilient over the past few years. So we've all been through a lot. And we've all changed a lot and we've all learned a lot. So to acknowledge that, maybe place your hand on your heart just like, oh, I see that. I see the ways that you've evolved, the things you've been through, and how resilient you are. So not comparing. I mean, we can certainly acknowledge that other people have been through perhaps things that we might say are harder than what we've been through. But we don't want to ever look at that in a way that makes it so that you don't feel your own feelings too. You still get to have your feelings no matter what, no matter what feelings other people are having. So like, yeah, you know, you, you went through that and that was hard and you changed and I'm proud of you. And then that can kind of fuel our future resilience. So then you can tune into the energy of the earth, notice the feeling of your body on the earth, the gravity, See if you can tune into the sort of magnetic and the energy grid of light that sort of anchors the whole globe and feel your energy field connected to that energy field. Notice that you're supported by the planet and that that's part of your resilience. And then over the weekend, we got, for the weekend, we got hydrangea, which is be impeccable. So the message I'm getting for us for the weekend is to notice or to become clear on how we want to be, what we want to offer, and in what way. So how can we be even more in integrity? Maybe even like how can we change habits, even little habits, like day-to-day -day habits, in a way that is more in alignment with how we want to be. So little habits, but also like, what do I want to offer and how do I want to offer it? and why and purifying our motivation. So it's aligned with the divine, with love, with wanting to support others, but also with fun. I mean, it can also be just really getting clear and like what it, what feels like it propels me forward, what gives me joy and, and then how can I do it in a way that is impeccable? So it may be that you need to be more patient. I feel like patience is a part of the message, which is interesting because it's Aries season, which is impatient, famously impatient, but just kind of noticing like, yeah, maybe it's a few extra steps to do this this way or to have this habit to offer this in this way that is impeccable, but it's worth it because this is how I want to show up. So kind of like maybe there could be some journaling that you do or some meditating you do or just some thinking about that over the weekend, rearranging your schedule in a way that feels like you're being impeccable. Okay, so I also want to mention that the Wisdom Circle Online School of Magical Arts, my membership program is open. So I just opened it today. So for today and throughout the week until Friday, you can sign up and try a whole month for free. So this is this gives you access to the live web chats and rituals we do on when, on Tuesday. It also gives you access to my online workshops and to a really supportive Facebook group. So you can learn about that at TessWhitehurst.com and sign up. So thanks for watching and have a magical week.